U.S. stocks extended their rally on Tuesday, kicking off the final week of 2023 with expectations that the Federal Reserve will begin cutting interest rates as soon as March. All three major U.S. stock indices rose in low-volume trading. The Dow Jones Industrial Average and the S&P 500 both climbed about four-tenths of a percent, and the Nasdaq gained half a point. All three are on track for monthly, quarterly, and annual gains, and seem buoyed after making it through 2023 without a major contraction. Adam Coons is the chief portfolio manager at Winthrop Capital Management. The markets today are really just kind of coming off of this, this Christmas lull where uh, we, we did have a Santa Claus rally leading up into uh, the Christmas holiday. Fed policy has kind of become more known and so it's more stable. So I think we'll just end the year fairly quietly, you know, on, on low volatility. Uh, so it may tick up a little bit higher uh, just on, on low volume, but uh, we don't see any real big moves uh, coming up through the, the rest of the week. The S&P 500 is on track to post its biggest quarterly gain in three years and is within 1% of its all-time closing high reached in January 2022. Energy shares on Tuesday enjoyed the heftiest percentage gain, boosted by surging crude prices as Middle East strife ratcheted up supply concerns, while optimism over Fed rate cuts fueled demand hopes. Graycell Biotechnologies surged more than 60 percent after AstraZeneca said it will buy the China-based firm for up to $1.2 billion, and Intel Corp advanced 5.2 percent following the Israeli government's agreement to endow a $3.2 billion grant for a $25 billion plant the chipmaker plans to build in southern Israel.